This is Beatrice Leonard on the move with Travelers with Disabilities Having Fun. As you know, I am a baby boomer, and during my time, I had an absolute ball. But there were serious things that was going on. And I guess today, if I pronounce his name correctly, because my computer, I got used to my computer, it's Laban Carrick Hill. Is that correct? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, good. And he wrote the book about young people in the 60s, how we made changes. And I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Great, wonderful. I'm thrilled to be thrilled to be with you. You know what? I was having fun in the sixties. <laughs> I was having an absolute ball. So many exciting things were going on and and uh, you remind me of Rumper School and I remember Miss Frances with Ding Dong School. She was on also teaching mm-hmm. us what things was what that was going on. And I think that they were the first Barneys that was going on and um What's the other thing they have there? But the kids were learning. Uh, Electric Company. Um, oh, who is that guy? Oh, God. The Cookie Monster. I think Rumpa Room and Ding Dong School were the first. Would you agree? Uh, Rumpa Room, yep, and Ding Dong School. And um, those were, you know, start, started in the 50s and went into the 60s, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think they're the ones that help us to be interested in school and, and books and, and reading and et cetera. Yeah, yes. During that era, it was the Beatles, it was the miniskirts, it was cool, it was groovy, it was Dobie Gillis and all that. What brought that on? Brought that on? Well, you know, it was a it, it was an incredible um, time of prosperity, mm-hmm. and so uh, people had a lot of uh, after. In the 30s and into you know, in World War II for 15 years straight, um, Americans um, suffered horribly and, you know, were just struggling to survive. And then finally, when the economy um, uh, grew and everybody in employment um, uh, exploded and people had an opportunity to become middle class, uh, their children were really doted on. And uh, in a way that they hadn't been in America before, and there was the population boom of um, the, the boomer generation. And uh, these kids, they came of age at a time when they had an unprecedented amount of choice and opportunity that um, Americans had had prior to uh, uh, the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. Do you feel, from your research, that the baby boomers were extra spoiled and were irresponsible? No, no, not at all. Uh, I think that, um, you no, know, I think I think more um, that they became incredibly um, kind of socially conscious mm-hmm. and um, and incredibly aware of their responsibilities mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, for each other. 